I'm from Dallas. I was born and raised, well, I was born in Temple, but I was raised my entire life in Dallas. And so I was always wanted to leave Dallas because I grew up there and every, I never moved. I stayed in the same house my whole life. And so uh, I wanted to move to Austin because I came through one time on my first time outside of Dallas. I went to South Padre and I was like, Austin seems cool. And so I ended up moving to Austin a couple of years later. Okay. Yeah. So what's your story? What do you want to tell us about? I'm going to tell you about M Station. I used to call it Magic Station because it was the first, it, I moved into M Station when it first opened and I was the first tenant in my apartment. Everyone who moved in, when I moved in, we were the first people there. And it was very true to what it was trying to do, which was like have people who, affordable income housing. And so there were a variety of different people because you could have like, di there were different tiers of people living there. So we had people who made a lot of money, college kids, people from East Austin, people not from East Austin. I'm not from East Austin and I live there, you know, and there were just so many characters. Like I could just remember being connected to everyone. The lady across from me, her name was Brandy and she was super sweet. She had a little girl and I would leave my door open and my dog would run out of the apartment all the time. But all the kids knew my dog. Everybody knew my dog though. And everyone knew each other. And then there was actually my, one of the loves of my life. I met her there. She lived across, she was actually my neighbor and we ended up being lovers and like fell in love and it was really beautiful. And then it was, here's a crazy story. One time I went to a, um, <laughs> I went to a concert and it was so loud, but I was in the front, it was a DJ concert. And I put some toilet paper in my ear to make sure so I can protect my eardrums. And then the next day I was like, hey man, I, I think I have something in my ear. Can you check in my ear? I feel they're like, no, I don't see anything. So I went downstairs to my neighbor, whose name is Fatima, and she has a little girl, and they had a baby boy at the time, and he's so big now. And um, I was like, hey, Fatima, can you check in my ear? Because she used to be a nurse, and she's from Iran. And she ended up pulling a piece of paper that I put in my ear, like a little bitty kid, and she pulled it out. And it's just, you're just so connected to everyone there. And there's this lady who's in a wheelchair. I can't remember her name right now, but I used to go to her house and like just talk to her because she just wanted someone to talk to. And she loved my dog, and she gave my dog hot dogs every time we went past. And actually, one of my new best friends for like two or three years now, his name is Hank. He lives there and it's just like, it was white people, it was black people, it was Latino, it was everything. And we were just so magical. There were these two girls who lived at the very, they lived right under me. I lived on the fourth floor and um, they lived on the same apartment, but except on the bottom floor. And her name was Sierra. And then at the end of the hallway, her best friend lived there and their name, her name was Sierra. And they were these two teenage girls who just sat on the bench all the time and I would just never forget them. I started a summer camp at M Station and they would come here and there, but the, they just, they were just the epitome of like teenage girls being teenage girls, you know, and just always chit chattering, knew all the gossip and talked to everybody, knew everybody's business, but also like had this sadness and had this love and like wanted to express it. And it was, it was just so beautiful. I just, M Station is always magic station in my, in my mind. Cause it was just, it was the first time in my life that I ever had that type of community where you know your neighbors, your neighbors know you. We went into each other's house. My friend Kelly lives there and I like became like their kid, her kids feel like my nieces and nephews, you know? And it's just, you had a sense of community that I never in my life experienced. And I lived in the same house since I was little and we barely know our neighbors still wow. in Dallas. Wow. And I connected with these people and I feel like they are part of me forever. And that I, I feel like they'll remember me forever as well. And my dog, Mudago, everybody knew Mudago. So yeah, that's my story. Well, great. Well, great. Well, thank you. Of course, no problem.